Dang it. Dang it. I got an Atari ST the other day, came with a bunch of games which I've been having fun playing uh, except it's highlighted my need for a proper joystick here in the basement. I've been using the one that came with it and it's probably just a bit worn out and I'm really struggling to get it to work properly. So what I thought I was going to do today is build a joystick. Okay so to make this project happen we're going to need some parts. So I've got a few here. We have got the actual joystick full of lovely clicky switches. So I love a good micro switch joystick. This is going to be very nice, nice precision. And uh, it'll certainly mean that I can't blame the joystick anymore for my bad playing. Uh, I've also got a nice clicky button. So that's for the fire button. Um, there's a round thing which goes on the end of the joystick. I'll put that on later. And this collar here, which also goes around the joystick like so. The other thing I've got, untangle it here, is I salvaged this off an old joystick I had, which has the, uh, the D sub nine connector on one end and the uh, five, six wires that I need on the other. So we have black, which is the common, and these are the directions in the fire button. So I have to wire them all up to this and put this in a housing. I was going to make a housing out of timber, so I've got some wood lying around. I'll have a look through what I've got and see what kind of housing we can come up with and build our joystick. Now, if you're anything like me, you love to build stuff. So why don't you check out PCBWay? Head on over there. You can download the plans that you need. You can buy the parts that you need and you can put it all together. You can get stuff pre-made or you solder it yourself. It's really up to you. There's such a range there. They do 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, and of course, a range of different PCBs from surface mount, through hole mount, whatever you need. They have a range of projects you can pick from, from their project library, or you can just have them develop your own custom PCB. So we want to thank PCBWay for being the sponsor of today's video. Right, back to the joystick. Okay, so here are our parts. And what we need to do is we're going to need to build a wiring harness that connects all of these common points on these switches here. So I'll just choose the same tab on each of these switches and we're going to make them all common, which is the black wire. Now, thoughtfully, before I pull this joystick apart, I wrote down which color wire does which thing so we can make sure that we uh, can get all that right so that left goes left and up goes up, etc. And of course, we've got our switch here. Um, now, this has quite a few contacts on the back, but these two here, these are for a light inside the switch, which we're not going to use. And these three, well, one of them's on and one of them switched. Well, well, they're both switched, but one of them switches when you push it and one of them switches when it's not pushed, if that makes sense. Um, so we'll use that as our common and that one there is our switch when it, that goes on when it gets pushed in. So that's the one we want to use there, that bottom one. So what I'll do is I'll get some wires and some spade terminals and I'll wire up a little harness and then come back and show you what I've done. Okay, so I've got it all wired together. I'll show you quickly what's going on. So coming in from the cord, we've got our four directions and I've run the direction to each switch on the bottom of the joystick here and just run the fire button uh, signal to the button and then I've linked everything else up with this common black that links back to the black one on the cord. Now one thing to just be mindful of, I've made an X on the joystick that I want that to be the top of the joystick so I know how to wire it up but when we push up it's actually activating the switch on the bottom because it acts on a lever so that's just something to be mindful of so the up switch even though that's up the up switch is down here. So, um, of course, they're easy to change anyway. If you get it wrong, you can just, I've put spade connectors on everything, so you can just slip it off and put it on the right one that you need. Now, a cautious person at this point would plug this in and test it out, but I'm throwing caution to the wind and I'm not gonna bother. I'm gonna build the enclosure, put it all together, and then test it. 
I reckon it'll work. Let's find out. <laughs> Oh, my God.
there we have it, a freshly made joystick with little clicky micro switches. Hopefully it's going to make my gameplay a lot better. Now I realize it's not going to win any beauty competitions. It's pretty chunky. I had to make it out of wood because that's what I had lying around. If you had a metal or plastic enclosure, you could obviously make the walls a lot thinner. Um, but it is what it is and it's going to work fine. So this is the wiring inside. I've secured the cord on there so that doesn't get pulled out. And I've put some spongy feet on there just to lift it up off the desk so it's not sitting on the cord. And all the wiring fits neatly in there. I'm not going to put a base on it because I may need to get in here and adjust it. Um, or modify it as time goes on and when it's up the other way it doesn't matter if it has a base on it or not. So there's just one thing left to do and that is to put the top on the joystick. And there we have it, a nice clicky joystick. Now, the next logical scene in this video is me plugging it into the Atari ST and trying it out on that same game. However, the ST has developed some issues with the joystick ports. I think it's got a cracked or dry solder um, from all the wiggling over the years and the joystick, no joystick's really working that well on it at the moment, uh, regardless of it being a new one or an old one. So I actually have to fix that before we can test this out. So why don't you join me in the next video, we'll be having a look at the ST, pulling it apart, fixing it up, getting it working, and then testing out a homemade joystick on there. You've been in the basement, have a great day.